Akato had the coolest recommended change to so Wildfire I've seen. A, a temperature check on chat. Because I don't um, really want to Everyone it. shares the same sentiment that I have. The anti-elusive -elus tools being a very but, um, welcome change. He said, it's kind of fun getting, you know, like writing the patch notes. And he said he wanted to, to thank Del Sor for the prime. He said he wants very Wildfire too. to be um, so let's, two let's mana, see what but it can target anything. Let's just start with like, the nurse Man, right that's away. so cool. Um, oh right, my gosh. I would, <coughs> I'm so thankful I would love that card. Please take it away. Bridge. <laughs> yeah, this is a nerf that I think will surprise basically no one. Uh, we are going to increase the cost of Warden of the Tribes back up to nine. Good. Uh, kind of reverting a change we've made. Good. In this patch. Uh, Warden decks are meant to be kind of this like you pay a little bit of cost in deck building. I'm glad they nerfed Blacksmith. Menagerie I was kind of worried they were going to miss the, the Weapon Masters uh, again. Honestly, like the Menagerie. That Shouldn't Warden be given instead of Grant? Uh, really I like it to be Grant. I just want it to be like really hard to pull off. <laughs> Eight was like just a turn too uh, early. It's a way to like stabilize the board, develop a lot of value. Uh, and kind of like put a decently sized body into play. I think the card's uh, cool. So making that slightly weaker, we but think like, the card will still like have a It was just miserably good. <laughs> decks, but not be quite as dominant. Like Adding imagine if Volibear Bear was for, eight mana. for the feedback. Right. Um, some of the people, and I think this might make uh, maybe Sunny a, a, a little sad and some others, but. <laughs> Damn. I, I think if Wildfire is what's making you sad, that's. That's probably what you're doing to some other people, I'll admit it. Uh, so Wildfire, you know, is one of those cards from set Damn, this uh, from is sad. Fate's Voyage where just plus uh, one is to rough. Give, definitely just trying to slow down Wildfire, make it where you if you build your deck entirely around them, hopefully this will cost you an extra turn or two by you know, if you play five or movies in a four. game, that's plus five extra mana. That's a lot. This is brutal. Uh, a lot of people are sending their cookies in the card <laughs> too much based to on deck their boring. Twitch and YouTube comments. It is boring. Yeah, the current like Wildfire I, deck is very, very boring. The card is dead. But like, I would have really liked to see thing, you know, you still play six them do something to Wildfire. Like I was saying, Ikato's change, where it's two mana, but it can deal one to anything, and then two to anything, three to anything, four to anything. I think that's like a way more interesting change, because it is one of my favorite cards. You can do some really cool stuff. Greg will be sad about this. But... Yeah, dude, <laughs> fuck Pike. <laughs> Let's go. All my homies hate Pike. Did they put him back to two power? Thing. There are a lot of people who absolutely love it, and we don't want because he was one power. Move the deck from the game Four. entirely, but kind of reducing their reliance on. Bro, nerf him again. May actually be healthier for the deck as a whole. Death from below. Right. Five mana. Sounds good. Let's, let's summon keep Pike this into a train going. Let's see what else like, is uh, our next stop. It's level two. Oh my bad. <laughs> this one is a long time coming. Uh, people have been calling <laughs> for some changes to Jace Heimer for as long as that deck has been popular, which has been a pretty long while at forever. this point. Yeah. This for, is fair. Forever. Uh, yeah. So that's what we're changes. doing here. We have two nerfs. One is to Epic Scrap Trap making the token subway or, uh, runaway Scrap Trap lose Brash. Uh, that is a card that even non Jace decks were playing sometimes to just make a 6 6 brash on round three, and it kind of led to more non games than we were hoping. So we're cleaning that off, maybe making it just more of a Jace card or a deck that wants to play big spells runs this. And Hextech Handler is the much uh, more direct nerf to Heimer Jace, taking off that health buff for all the tech. Uh, it would do poor Handler. Where game, or you know, even not Heimer, uh, playing, uh, needed. Uh, Scrap Traption is only spell. unneeded so if you're looking directly at Heimer Jace and thinking in terms of the Hextech Handler nerf. But Scrap uh, Traption is an insane card in any PNZ deck. It's, it's like really so, so, so good. Stuff could be. Uh, right. Right. Yeah, Heimer Jace is one of those decks that's lasted far longer than most decks without avoiding like a pretty serious nerf. Yeah, let's nerf Vayne too. Yeah. While. while we're at it. All right, here's the next one. Oh, I, yeah, I have good. conflicting <laughs> feelings about this one. but I'll, The actual I'll best card it. in the game if you draw it on turn Yeah, one. Watchful Idol is a tough card. Uh, I did not expect this pretty nerf. Pretty huge for the spawn. But game. I'm happy. Uh, but at the same time, leaving it at five health was basically giving you a 3-3 three, three for one mana investment, even if it was like slow and over time. Uh, that then also was like better well with all your because you cards. couldn't just kill uh, us. And secondarily, this was also really boosting Swain, Swain and kind of keeping him in a spot where it was tough to yeah, actually quite make Swain outside Believe. of Alawi decks work well. Uh, we think making this change allows us to like let Alawi still play, and then we can kind of see the impact that it has on those secondary decks and make moves based off of these changes. Ranger right, Defector. Sounds, sounds fair enough. I'm, still, right I'm so sad to lose the, the one tentacle, but, you know, for, <laughs> for the greater good of the game, I will accept it. RKD. from playtesting Watchful Idol on one is still really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Sting Officer. 
Yeah, Sting okay. Officer. We were looking for things to change within the elusive strategies that have been popping back up again. And Arcadia nerf and cane buff. Honestly, I'd be down with a cane nerf. I mean, a cane buff. A I like cane. That are already just one mana. One I don't know ones. why. There's not a lot of numbers. This is good though. On those. Uh, so says WTF. Okay, so what they're doing is they're moving his power there. budget. It was ever, never as good in that deck because it right. often died to small ping removal. Taking so it away from the elusive decks and putting decks more power aggression. to it in the flash bomb uh, decks that care more about the on hit and getting it to survive and actually this is a good change better in the traps archetype because it's going to survive longer to give you one or two extra nexus strikes maybe actually get you some traps planted when before it often would come into play and die and you just wouldn't get anything out of that deck so it's also sneaky really good at stopping teemo now so yeah True. A lot That's of right. people are. A lot of people in chat really feel like this is more of of a buff. Is this? Does this feel more like a, a balancing for for y'all on the design team? Like, what? Uh, how do you for feel about puff this cap change, Like, the, in terms of power level change, they're calling this. I, I think it, it is a, a little different. I, but you know, it's a it buff a for a puff cap deck. Is going to be better in some games because it does. And flash to bombs. It won't die to small removal. Flash bombs would rather have this. Um, elusive decks now don't want to play this. But in a deck like elusives. The problem wasn't that small removal. Change like, roll? Small yeah. removal is still going to be very yeah. good. They play a ton of units that die to things like Pytos. Uh, so having one that survives that's also kind of a smaller, a one-two unit, uh, just puts less pressure on. It might be better in some cases, but I think overall it's going to be a bit worse. Cool. And I think in general, like, we're pretty excited to try out nerfs that feel less like they're just raw nerfs. Uh, you know, there's not... It's yeah, not like Wildfire, maybe we, re maybe we maybe revisit that one. Worse because it <laughs> maybe we really take another peek there. To use the card. Uh, but if well, this next one makes me sad, but I think it's yeah. necessary. <laughs> Where's Janitor? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, the large cloudy boy, uh, Exalted Cloudwinder, uh, has been really performing well since coming out with Janna. And we knew that Janna's package uh, needed to, like a little bit of an adjustment somewhere. So we looked at a lot of different cards and felt like this was a good place where it brings the card back in line. But, you know, it's still drawing you two cards at the next round. Hope the three one gets still getting its cost. I think the three one's like, fine. It does plenty. Even Standard has moved away that. from ping spells for some yeah. reason. But like once Pytos comes out to play. Part of an effort Ooh. to playing against that deck. One of the problems. Too small a nerf. If only Janna deck. <laughs> the best Janna deck to is a warden deck. I think they could Seems hit like good. one more Let's thing. Keep though. this train Probably. going because we have a lot of balance changes today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Balin the Benevolent. He was so benevolent that he buffed himself, which is not quite how benevolence works. But uh, we have changed that now. He's only going to grant other formidable allies the buff. Uh, this card Balin, is nuts. incredibly powerful, formidable card. Kind of made formidable into an archetype, almost single-handed. It was like the whole deck, uh, yeah. Lower its ability above each other. to just yeah, by run plus away plus with a game by each. itself on round four. Yeah, sounds good. And oh, this one also hurts my soul, but let's just get to it. <laughs> Yeah, this was one that kind of came in a little later. Uh, we were definitely finding the Valley of Imitation coming down on three. I uh, was just curving a little too easily into all of the various like transform synergy cards. Yeah, uh, we think adding I think extra cost good. here like makes you make some more choices in that deck. Transforms are you going to play? On if you leave Valley of Imitation um, on three, it's definitely it becomes, a like a major a lot of fun and um, some really interesting balance stuff, issue for just future stuff as only. well. Like that's the kind of card that you have to like keep a really really well, close eye on. A lot on of the, a like, lot of the Nidalee enjoyers are quite sad. If you and release something, because it's you know, if you release something that like works with it, right here, you know, the imitation of chip. But you're just like, oops, broke the format. <laughs> you know, like, oh darn, it's the best deck. And the problem with the Valley decks so is like, just, when the deck doesn't draw Valley, off, they're really bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Why does it keep muting it? You know, some people probably saw coming as well. Stay there. Uh, Beguiling Cobra, changing it from being the first unit you so many rounds. Does it hurt first, Cobra uh, combo? You, you <laughs> what about round. this? Does this hurt uh, Cobra combo? Beguiling Cobra <laughs> had quite a few ways to go infinite. If you were going to play Beguiling Cobra, why wouldn't you play the combo? It's just kind of not what we intended the card to be doing. So we're yeah, it's an Ionia card. That. We better Most nerf that shit. Play it in some other <laughs> All right. I see what's going on. Let's right. Get on to the can't next pull me. nerf, Swindle. Oh, uh, Swindle's been okay. a card that's been really choices going forward. Uh, cutting it back to two choices means you're like getting did a less see, useful card not see this some coming. percentage of the time, but you're also just getting less things that you know to play around. Uh, makes it a bit less head bendy to be on either side of Swindle um, and hopefully tones the card back slightly. 
Where's There's Buffs? Someone in After chat the nerfs. Luigi <laughs> said, oh, "Y'all are really coming for me, huh? I promise, we're we're, we're coming for the meta. It's it's not it's not targeted at you, but, but if you play nerf, mostly meta Seraphine cards, doesn't even have a fifty percent win rate deck. Them, actually, I like all of their match results. <laughs> just let it's me have one of the cool patch. Champion. Aaron is like Vinicius Luigi. That is our target. That's it. Right there. I didn't put that on the slide, but just now. Uh, well, I, okay, I guess so. We're yeah, the truth's coming out. <laughs> Ranger oh, man. oh no, this next one is one of my highest mastery champions. I think Bane. this is one of Majin Bay's highest mastery. Let's, let's okay, look at fair. it. <laughs> I was so worried. <laughs> highest mastery champion, probably, uh, if we're being honest. Uh, yeah, Samira, I mean... Bro scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Samira, this is like her fourth time on one of these dev streams, I think, getting talked about. Uh, oh my god, yeah, that's so, so funny. <laughs> we are finally kind of pulling the band-aid off. Uh, Samira's flair is going up to two, and her. Uh, what do you think it was going to be? I don't know, Ari again or something. Reduce the cost of your flares when you strike to make it where they will cost reduce over time, but you're not going to have that turn round two play of, you know, I play the Samira, yep, good. I flare my Samira, I challenge your two drop. Uh, that would happen a lot and would make. This was Samira, yeah. Flip Samira is still zero, three, which is like really uh, good. Not feel um, very good to play. Because um, yeah, the Samira fork on turn two is like really, really, really powerful. Later game and player and challenge a thing, but we just really want to open up that early game to more units that have the ability to to not just die to her and see more play. It's not zero. When I'm yeah. summoned or strike, create well, a flare. Let's get right. Oh, into some buffs. if you already have one, it gets reduced. Oh, that is kind big. Of, kind wow. of hard to stomach. Hold on, we're gonna be slightly behind. That's big, actually. So when you play her at level two, she's two. Her flare costs two mana. And then if you hit, you don't get another flare. The first one just goes to zero. That's crazy. But uh, let's talk about the... the I'm so glad I released the Samira video today. <laughs> yeah, so as Aaron mentioned before... Uh, Buffs! Wait! Set, Ranger um, Rider Vector! A lot of titanic synergy things happening. And we realized there's a bunch of big units from older sets that are like just on the verge of being titanic. And I'm tired of Vayne Trucks being so good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we gave an extra power to the Zondiva. Um buffed up the clock hand, I believe, by plus one, plus one. Yeah, they just and want things to hit the titanic keyword. And then gave an extra health to Sigmund invoke the Tusk Raider. Okay, I have a random question from, from a non-designer perspective, but I'm thinking of, like, Clash of Titans. Does adding a more titanic units, kind of diluting the pool of, like, those really, really nice units to hit, is this, like, a slight a theoretical point. nerf to it by having some of these other, I guess, maybe less game-changing titanic units in the pool? I yeah. mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. More Titanic Yudix. These ones a little fancy. We've added a couple play effects to Wrath of the Freljord and to Otacon, Bringer of Ruid. Really Whoa. want to make these big plays do something, be more exciting. Wrath of the Freljord. Now, Revive the thing. strongest dead and ally. Attack through the turn it comes in, which is pretty awesome. And Otacon now has a play effect that revives your strongest dead ally. Uh, meaning where, you know, Otacon has always had a problem historically of you play it and it gets Will of Ionia or Avengers. Yeah. And ten drop just kind of doesn't do anything and that's pretty lame. Uh, so now if it does get killed, Ionia you know, mentioned. <laughs> hopefully not just die immediately. Uh, Eldred, Mage Seeker Leader, uh, now gives a buff to your units whenever they survive damage. Hopefully opening up Mini this card to have kind decks of. you can build around it. Oh, it is Scar It was just kind it's of a, better a neat card, but. There wasn't really a, on a deck stick. there, just giving your next to stuff cool. isn't enough of a draw. That, that's cool. Maybe now you can play with some of the other Scars cards from Failure Order and Oxus and really make something cool. People are very excited about Otacon. Uh, people are very, very happy about this. It's funny. I, it, one of the one of the Reddit posts I mentioned was was about Otacon being pulled in Clash of, <laughs> Clash of Titans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just I, I'm going to point this out just to show that we were paying attention to Clash of Titans. Otacon <laughs> is explicitly a play effect, just so it wouldn't trigger if you summed it off Clash of Titans, because we already knew that was one of the strongest things you could hit. Cool. Yeah, yeah but yeah, Eldred off Clash like, got a lot Normally better, yeah. we would do that at a summon speed, but yeah, this is not one that we felt okay. Otacon is just Rekindler, but as a threat. Um, <laughs> it kind of, Rekindler's Yo, seven, and like the All difference right, between seven and ten is Berserkers. pretty large. <laughs> Yeah, so Berserker Arsene has definitely been one of the weaker cards coming out from the latest expansion. Yeah, uh, three health was like three. unplayable a in a set with Divine Whirlwind. <laughs> right, you just um, <laughs> it's, it's it just never living. Out, uh, possibly too cautious, you know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, so we wanted to give him a little more stats back, so you actually might be able to live that printer dream. Whoa, a Omen Hawk buff. Elusive 
tech tools. This is the most oh, important oh, oh. patch. We have given Omen Hawk the ability to block Elusive. Wow. There was a lot that went into this decision. Uh, you know, what region should have can't block Elusives. I would, size of if you gave me 300 buff guesses, really, really I would well. not have guessed this one. And we this wanted one. a smaller unit that Hawk seemed like a, a prime candidate for that. Great. More also, I mean, units for me to attack with elusives into and forget they can block. Uh, <laughs> uh, chat is losing their collective mind over this change. There is, I'm going to go back and look at like the analytics. You think it's not that bad currently? It's not. Omen Hawk's like pretty solid. But Omen Hawk is like, at least for me, Yeah, I think comparing this with a marquee Freljord card, I'm okay with it being better. Can end up brick walling and elusives, but we should we should height. probably nerf range knight factor <laughs> while we're here. Uh, it does a good job of slowing them. All right, we have a couple spells that are called moving up to a shot. Speed. Uh, I'll start with called shot first because uh, this one is mostly just. Oh, exhaust gets a lot better There's at burst. No particular reason for it. It's an offensive slow. combat trick um, so and a defensive like combat trick now. That's really cool. Modernize the card and keep it in line with our current design policies. It made more sense at focus, uh, and in playing with it, it kind of like lets the deck play out a little more smoothly. But we don't think it probably moves called shot into like automatic include territory at a base level in an echo. I'll probably play called shot um, and Seraphine decks a lot more often spicy now. White made it over the we should definitely make a uh, parallel convergence really burst speed, right? Usable as an offensive trick in other matchups, which just makes exhaust a more parallel like convergence decks, during combat work. It wouldn't. That was the joke. <laughs> it would like break a lot of things, <laughs> like losing too much but it'd be funny. <laughs> They're like attacking you, and you're like, psych! <laughs> I'm attacking you. You know. Okay, so yeah, two three tough is like pretty hard to kill. worried about initial death. I mean, a tough unit that scales its health is really powerful and can be really hard to remove. Doesn't die to divine whirlwind now. A little weaker than we wanted, so let's give it that ability back. Now it has three health and tough. Not a ton of things are going to remove it the round it comes into play, and it doesn't give your opponent a lot of time to interact with it before it really scales into a game. And they're hopefully giving those frailer elemental decks a yeah, little thing bit is gonna be that gigantic. stronger uh, early to mid game that we want oh ah uh, yeah the knuckle mako bull uh these three <laughs> have been kind of a big they've been always been intended as like the big earlier in the game kind of like play a this does seem better mako or something like For that sure. uh the brash is actually like extremely useful if you can drop it early on oh this cards. is i, did, oh, yeah. I feel like i've never seen this card before babs. uh giving her <laughs> a tune babs. we took off power Awesome. I think we're all rooting for Babs. Yeah. And yeah, I like it a lot as well. It's so one three attune and Bilgewater. Oh, oh, no oh gosh. The, okay, the, the like meme buff now. Okay. Brutal. <laughs> all right, so this is kind of a long story, so we'll start you uh, through this. We so looked back at Brash Gambler, Brash which Gambler, is huh? card from like set two, uh, and we knew there was something missing from this card. It, it just it didn't feel complete. Like, it didn't brash. really like, match the <laughs> idea of brash? what it was. Uh, so we looked at a bunch of different options for this one. Because it's in the uh, name? The first, one. first, we considered like giving it overwhelm as a keyword um, and seeing what that would look like and whether or not the... Um, they got to know where they're going to land. It wasn't quite. So we tried another keyword. We tried challenger um, to see if that really like made it sing. Uh, but still, something felt off. Why do I feel like this card. is a joke? <laughs> uh, so we went to quick attack next, I believe. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and? It still didn't quite read right. Plus, it's like a bit and? of a stretch for Bilgewater. Uh, so we tried some negatives even. Just oh, to my see God. Was, like, they're going to just fill every and keyword and they're going to be like, work. brash. Um, we tried you know, moving it into other regional, uh, you know, themes to see if it could maybe play in other Splash I didn't read the names. Splash Gambler Restaurant. Uh, uh, you know, Gambler. even with the name, it still wasn't throwing away enough cards to make deep decks want it. Uh, we even tried seeing if it, like, belonged maybe in Bellyward, uh, but I, this was terrible. I do not recommend that card. So, eventually, we just came back to the original idea. And just <laughs> um, <laughs> That's funny, man. That is... <laughs> That's funny. Poof! I was not ready for all that. Was good. All right. Yeah. So, Brash Gambler. If it uh, if, when the name when the name says it, you should just move in. Brash Gambler, Usually, when they do bits and like the pass notes, it's, it's like, yeah, you know, that's kind of clever. But that was funny. A long time. Uh, you know, maybe what's in the name? Ash maybe Gambler, man. <laughs> With frostbite, it's so funny. Y'all are too much. Y'all are too much. <laughs> Let's go. Let's keep going. Oh! Speaking of things that uh, maybe were incorrect, we've done it. Uh, oh my god! King's Court is a boat. The community. It's a boat. Still nobody plays. It used to be really, really good in the Tristana deck. Remember? It's okay. It's okay. The Bandle Gunners. Sure I have like a good. It's a strong card. It just doesn't really have a spot. Is this our Ionia buff? Is this the Ionia buff of the patch? 
But the <laughs> they're like, back, look. Obviously, no one ever looked at the really card. Yordle, at the yeah. yard, it's a yordle now. Realized that maybe Stop whining. So, uh, we're fixing that now. Back up again. All right, it's um, plus one plus out. It's not plus one plus one. Stick around on the board and actually, you know, it's probably fine. Some other yordles occasionally. All right. We use the cry phoenix. It's a great card against a bunch of little yordles. Look at that. Okay. Uh, we are changing this card to have the enlightened buff only deal damage to your opponent's units. Uh, the fact that when this card was enlightened and you had your 10 okay. mana and you often were, you know, at parity on board or a little ahead, not very exciting to play it. Uh, hopefully now this I don't know if it's a real a card or not, though. Actually get into a late game Still. With effects where they normally kind of fall off. Like, this is good. This There's is a better. a dramatic thing here, too. Where all right, next to Shark yeah, Trainer. Yeah, uh, we also That's nice. took a look at Shark Trainer here. Uh, it used to be that this would spend mana when you attacked, uh, which most often just resulted in you forgetting that you hadn't gotten yourself spell mana or like you overspent your spell mana. And then yeah, that you don't felt really shark, bad. And you're very sad. Um, and Shark Trainer is like definitely not a card that has been too strong and required that kind what? of thing. What? <laughs> um, uh, we have the Harrowing Return now going to revive the unit with Fearsome. Uh, it was always cool I don't know how good that is. Gives that I believe Haunted Tomb is minus one cost. I think it used to be but three. Now, no matter what you're getting back, it'll have exciting things. Haunted Tomb buff seems okay. No, it's not bad. I realized I cut off. Yeah, oh, nice. There you go. You can see <laughs> the minus one cost. You see Harry nothing. returns like not bad card. <laughs> here you go. Whoa, gems. Right. Uh, we have the I like gem, gem crafter. crafter here as well. Another card that we think is like a really exciting engine card that just didn't quite have the stats on board to justify the delay required for like what she gives you. Uh, moving her up to a three mana three three makes her a little more at parity with things that you'll normally be playing on those rounds. Uh, lets you not pay quite as large a penalty for this like future investment in your hand buffing. We've consult the heavens. This is a card that's always been really cool. But What's we everybody? I was like, never really saw a ton of decks trying to play it. Uh, now we are changing it to a team buff. Uh, it is slow now to compensate for being such a more powerful effect. But okay. now your big butts deck can fill the board and actually get a your huge big payoff butt uh, and deck. kill them with all of those bubble bears you've been so excited to play, as we all know. We basically worked on a lot of different angles to try and bring Scion back towards the forefront a little bit uh, and try and give that deck a little bit of a boost. Um, and one of the things that we realized is that Noble Rebel was kind of so a five-three challenger the actual strategy of that deck. Uh, it didn't really want a small overwhelm unit in most cases. It, that That's leaned more towards like the older uh, discard aggro type of decks, which have enough other options that they weren't really interested in Noble Rebel either. Um, and we also realized that the, I believe it's Lost Soul, uh, the like infinite discard unit uh, that had Challenger at one point, and we ended up rebalancing it to Fearsome because because it was bonkers. Challenger units was a bit too too much. Uh, since that changed, the Scion deck really struggled to kind of control the board earlier. So we moved the Challenger onto Noble Rebel as an option for that deck to really, like, slow down the game, let their more value-based discard game plan come to fruition, uh, and then become, like, a pretty sizable removal tool once you've actually discarded a couple cards. I have to be responsible for this one. Uh, I promise this is not a I run into I Am Walrus on ladder guitar, all the time, uh, and he did feel always like plays he deep. He needed a little bit more strength in the early game. Um, and found that like buffing Megatusk's health like becomes a really strong blocker at that point and really helps I think that's him. slow you down to the point where you can actually hit deep. I run into some um, rider that just always plays deep. I, I think it's I am walrus. So for yeah. full context for everybody, John's <laughs> avatar is the Megatusk on like everything. So John yeah. is a <laughs> self-reclaimed Megatusk fanboy. So you know what? It's yeah, okay. If, if I was in your unit. position too, I would I would use that power. I a three five on four is really hard to attack I, through. I just gotta call out to you. The next buff. All okay. Right, eclectic collection minus one cost. This is one of those cards that's always been really fun, and resolving it is really fun to watch. It is watching fun all the to resolve. And find a people's deck, uh, but seven mana was just a lot, and it was hard to play. Hopefully, you can see a little more play here at six mana. All right. And it's funny. So never expected with all of to this, see that uh, targeted, targeted elusive uh, <laughs> toolkit. Uh, a lot of people are saying buff Timo. I'm not sure this is what they meant, but we have something. <laughs> This is a huge buff for Timo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for when you Howling Abyss yeah, or something mostly, and he doubles uh, zero, kind of you're like, no. Howling Abyss edge cases and yep. uh, more frequently. Like, they said like anti-elusive uh, cards, just end up with a level but they've Timo only shown one. <laughs> it's just Omenhawk. Really Sting Officer it isn't like other better game ways game to deal with elusive. It just is an elusive. At Riot, I am Walrus. Uh, yes, <laughs> please do. You don't understand this buff? Okay, I so take, if, uh, just a second to if your opponent has zero puff caps so in deck and you attack them with, with level two Teemo, the they get zero more puff and caps the real in deck. Sword. And one of the things that zero times two uh, is zero. He brought up in the interview. Now you get like, at least five. So 
Oh! Small cane yeah, buff. Cane Small cane buff. Pretty powerful. Going to uh, three okay, is actually a huge buff cost, uh, for Shadow Step. Because you can play it on turn five. Uh, has suffered a bit after some of the... Uh, there's also kind of a bug fix that will end up buffing Kane a good bit. Uh, the momentous choice has not been reducing its cost properly. Finally! Um, in this upcoming patch. Woo! A lot of people. The news. They fixed momentous <laughs> I think my choice. My favorite comment was from Captain Sarah, who this whole stream, she's been like, let them cook. Yes. Good change. <laughs> Captain Sarah was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's, let's slow down <laughs> let's now. Think about <laughs> let's, let, let's think about this one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. What was right. broken? What, what else Even if Momentous here? Choice was discounted, if you had two mana available, so it would uh, pay two instead of one. Changes in terms of, Is that you crying? You're still not playing this. The mana, but the card also You're just going to play tag out. This is... Yeah, Philos has got it right. This so is more of a Seraphine buff than anything, because, like, generating a recall, a self-recall for Seraphine is really powerful. I'm bragging about it a lot because Aaron was the one who pitched the change, I believe, for this. I, I just job. changed it so when you generate it mid game, it's not totally useless. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, four power, like, really Our needs compensation uh, nerf now, please. God, no. <laughs> Too strong. He's already and, like, unplayable. You know, your board presence after it Ari is the power. worst card in Ari. Uh, and then lastly, we have Singular Will, uh, which used to cost 10 mana and now costs 9. Uh, this is still a really expensive effect for a really potent effect, but. You know, taking a little bit of numbers off of it will hopefully move that epic from something that you would absolutely never cast to something that maybe like becomes a slightly more interesting edge case option. None of this for really matters. For mass removal. Awesome. So this is all hinting towards our last change. Let's see. We did it. Sorry, <laughs> We've done it. Level up. Uh, we have an Ari buff. Champion. She's champion players. Some players really love, and she's not been good for ah! We're hoping. She's, she's still a 2 2. She's still a 2 2. Let's not get too excited. A little sooner. Don't want to see Ari Kennen return to its extreme dominance in the old days, but hopefully this will make it an option for people that really love the archetype. So she's still not good. <laughs> it's the big issue. Awesome. Okay, so let's talk about what really matters here, right? Let's talk about what really matters. Um, the big hits are. Warden, obviously, uh, and Innovative backs Blacksmith, which didn't lose, like, that much, if we're being honest. The Blacksmith. Warden, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. We did absolutely kill Wildfire, which makes me sad, because I was really hoping... I was really hoping they were going to go, like, a different direction and, like, change the card a little bit, because I think it's super, super interesting. Um, but they didn't. They decided to just shoot it, which made me... Pretty sad. Damn, LOR report is fast as fuck. Um, so, yeah, this is, like, not the biggest nerf. It's a good nerf. This is a pretty sizable nerf, but it doesn't, like, change the meta. War nerf obviously changed the meta. Samir nerf, gigantic. Absolutely gigantic Samir nerf. Honestly, deserved. She's the best card in the game for, like, a really long time. She's the best card in the game after, like, two nerfs. So, it's probably, you know, we'll probably hit her again, right? Red Sky, thank you for the two months. Rip Swag Mira. I'll still find some way to Swag Mira a bit. Um, Wildfire, dead. Cloudwinder, uh, Tutu is a nerf, right? It's a Janna nerf, but it's not like the biggest deal. This is, you know, whatever. Um, I'm trying to think of like the most impactful things. Jace Heimer gets hit pretty, pretty, pretty hard. Um, and that does matter for the meta. And then Snack Dex, Pike, yeah, it probably doesn't matter. Okay. And those are the big things. So, what gets better? Um, Dark and Dex get better. It's over I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Vein Trox gets a lot better. It was still like just kind of under the surface. Fekarax, thank you for the four months. So glad Snack Dex gone. Yeah, uh, Vein Trox didn't get touched, and the only reason it wasn't like the best deck is because Jax Orn uh, and Warden were the best decks, right? And that was like really rough for Vein Trucks. So Vein Trucks coming in hot again. Plus, like the main quietest deck of the format, Donger, is leaving. Uh, so yeah, Vein Trucks up there. I'm hoping Kane Trucks sees some plays because I really like Kane. I thought Kane Trucks was like actually a really fun deck. Deck should be a 3 3. Bro, you don't gotta tell me. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me. Um, so yeah, both the, both the Aatrox decks get better, which is. 
I was gonna say which is fine, but that's not. I don't want vein trucks to be better. I like a trucks, but I'm tired of vein trucks. It sits in the same spot as like Donger for me, except it's been like the best deck a lot of times, and it's Demacia, <laughs> right? And they got rid of a lot a lot of its bad matchups. Um, Janna gets like a slap on the wrist here, but nothing too crazy. She'll probably be a fine. She'll probably be one of the marquee champions in standard moving forward, which she kind of already was, but I'm not mad about it. Uh, this may matter if Yordles comes up. This is really cool, mostly for Seraphine decks. Care about this more than Echo decks. This is like, um, you're probably going to play one copy alongside um, the one that plants two traps. You know which one I'm talking about. Uh, you'll probably play two of these. Sorry, one of these, one of the one that plants traps as well. Eclectic to six is really interesting. That could be a really big deal. This card was like uh, the finisher card of choice in Heimer Nora decks in the past, especially when control decks reared their head. This doesn't matter. This is big. Kane's Shadow Step going to three mana is a really big deal um, because you can play Kane on five. This is, let me walk you through like a scenario that happens now. When you have the attack token on five, you play Kane and you double draw Kane a lot because if you draw one and then you draw him from the coldest, right? It's a little bit more difficult now because you have to play four coldest to do it on curve. But like, let's just say you do. So you go Kane. It's basically impossible to go Kane with three spell mana now on five unless you have double Kane. But hold on, let's just bear with me. Kane on five, right? Um, and then you shadow step before you attack to give him plus one and quick attack. So he's a three power quick attack. And then you attack again for four power quick attack. That's like kind of how Kane works. Um, plus momentous choice is buffed because <laughs> it's getting rid of its bug change. Uh, I don't see this making a really big change in the meta right now, but uh, possibly in the future. Um, Yordle stuff slightly buffed. Tristana may kind of come back, which honestly is like probably a little bit okay. Um, PNZ is pretty big right now, so maybe that'll keep that down. This doesn't really matter. This doesn't really matter. These are fun. Like, I think these are interesting. Um, not super overwhelming. Brash Gambler might be good. Like, Brash Gambler is a fine card, uh, already. But now with, like, an evasive keyword, that's a really big deal. It's jack size. It might just be, like, better jack. <laughs> So uh, we'll have to see. Speaking of Jack, the King's Court drawing Jack, super, super sick. Uh, we currently don't have any decks that play Jack, but with the Yordle buffs, maybe we see like a Tristana Jack boat deck come out with like Bandle Gunners or something. Not really sure. With Momentus Fix, do I think Varus will take over? I don't think Varus will take over, but I think Varus will be one of the only ways to really counteract Vayntrox in like a positive way. Uh, historically, that matchup's been pretty good for Varus. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these matter. Um, the generous gem crafter is a good buff. I like this card a lot. I say good buff just cause I, you know, like the card. Could Ash Gambler be good for Neela decks? Uh, no, cause frostbite's not super sick for Neela decks. I think you'd want, um, trying to think of the other ones, <laughs> the other names for it. Uh, yeah, th like two, three or three, three is not, it's a big change, but like, this, yeah, Trash Gambler for Deep. That one's funny. Flash Gambler. Um, this one's, like, not... It's a big deal. A 3-3 three, three from a 2-3 is a huge change. However, this card doesn't really get in the red zone. It's, like, you know, how much does it, how much does it really matter? Um, plus, there's, like, currently no Generous Gem Crafter decks. Pantheon's been bad for a long time. Uh, this is just nice because now you can... It's only nice if you randomly generate it. You're never putting this card in your deck, right? But now it's two mana, bounce something, which is fine. Bounce your own unit, which is fine. Uh, you're still never playing this in your main deck, probably. <sighs> it's just, like, impossible to take advantage of because it's, like, a symmetrical effect, but um, you're just nine mana down, minus the cost of whatever ally or landmark you have on board. Uh, Ari buff is sick, but she's still not good. Um, she's probably just less good. Jason Sational says, watch me. Do I, I hope you make it work. I hope you make it work. Ari was already, like I mentioned in the video, the worst card in Ari decks. Um, and this doesn't really help. But it's something. And I'll take it. Hope you're enjoying the graphics. Children are still in the patch notes. I got That's why you didn't mention it. Go to fast. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, no worries. I was like, damn, bro. You were hella fast with it. <laughs> Makes it very easy for me. I appreciate it. Um, This is a big buff. You're still probably not playing this card. It's just like when you hit it off like Kiss a Homie or something, that's a buff. This is a buff that doesn't really matter. This is a buff that does matter. If Renekton all of a sudden like pops up as a real deck, all of a sudden this is going to be big. You could see some... I you know there could be some like Nidalee decks that want to run exhaust, um, possibly like Auction mid rangey type stuff, right? Think Auction Samira of the past. Exhaust is all of a sudden really good. It goes to burst speed, which means that you can use it as a defensive combat spell. Which um, sometimes the Renekton decks a bit like lack outside of just a plus two plus two and quicksand. I didn't understand. Is it possible to stack Children of the Forest at eight cost now that it's fast? Uh, if you have sixteen mana. Uh, am I taking over some of the text? Boop. There we go. I'll just sit sit down a little bit. Otacon's play effect is sick. Um, on play, it revives the strongest dead ally. Um, I don't really know where you're going to put this in your deck or what deck you're going to put this in, but that's really cool. I think it means on an opponent's spell. Oh, yeah. If your opponent puts a spell on the stack, you can put Children of the Forest on the stack, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know where you're going to put this, but it's really cool. People are going to play it. Expect a sunny sunny video in the next three days, I'm sure, with Otacon. Uh, Savage Reckoner is buffed, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm still not playing this card. This is like, honestly, it's a fine like Clash of Clans hit, though, right? 8-5 Overwhelm Challenger could absolutely like end games, kill a, kill a meaningful threat. Like This is actually, it looks like it's probably a shit hit, but I think it's actually quite good. And then this is also a buff. But um, I still don't know if it's making the cut in, like, Scion decks, right? Also, what Scion decks? Wrath of the Freljord gets a play where it frostbites an enemy. Um, that is better. That is better. Possibly, we see, like, a big Freljord deck where there's, like, Big Pig, Volibear, stuff like that. Or possibly in an Ash deck that goes a little bit bigger than normal. Berserker or sign uh, when you play a spell or skill, summon a sigil of a storm. So this one's weird because like it's six mana. So on turn six, you play it. And then on turn seven, you cast a spell. And on turn eight, you cast your big thing. But like, I feel like you just want to cast something that already gets you a sigil on six. That way you can cast an eight drop on seven. Um, or possibly just play like two. Or sign needs this bug fix. I didn't know that it had a bug. What's its bug? But that's like my thinking. Um, because you're already like down a card to play this, down a card to play your spells, or whatever. Then like how many, how many big Titanic things do you like have left, right? Um, I feel like there's just better things in the slot, but I could absolutely be wrong. I'm not exactly a ramp dude. Uh, flame color Caprine, Caprine. This lady. This thing is going to get big <laughs> if it wants to. If you want to play a deck that plays like equipment. Plus a bunch of spells. This thing could get monstrously large. I don't like. It's just Jack's Orn right now. But like you're. You're not playing elemental spells in Jack's Orn. And there's really no skills. Um, I don't see where you would put this. But like this. If you just look at the card. It's like a strong card. Right. Like in a vacuum. This is a powerful card. I just don't know where you would put it. I, do, I don't I don't have a deck to just slot this into. Um, so we'll see. Omenhawk is a big buff. Can block units with elusive. This is like very, 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 very relevant. Uh, if Freljord and Omenhawk decks are like a player in the metagame, I expect elusives to lose a lot of its power because uh, the Freljord decks really struggled with like you just getting on board super fast and just going like elusive, elusive, elusive. And now you can't get through their one drop and that is yikers, right? That is tough. Strange that it's forged. Like, what equipment do you run in elemental decks? Exactly. Probably the spear, but exactly. Wings of the Cryo Phoenix. Uh, this is a buff. This is a big buff. This is a, this is a large buff. Um, are you going to play it? I don't know. If there's some kind of, like... If there's some kind of Feel the Mina-esque deck, this could be actually very solid. Uh, especially with Karma. It doubles, right? You deal six to everything of theirs, and then you heal six. That's pretty nice. All your stuff stays alive. That's pretty big. Tusk Raider, mini buff just to get it into the Titanic threshold. Uh, Pike nerf, good. Fuck them. That's all I have to say about that. And then, yeah, 
these are big nerfs for the Valley deck and the Cobra deck. Not really mad to see them go. Watchful Idol, secretly the best card if you draw in turn one. Uh, insane with Swain. The Alawi tempo package is probably the best tempo package in the game. Like, if you draw Watchful Idol, the three drop, and Alawi, your win percentage is just, like, nuts. Because <laughs> you just, like, outscale everything on the board. Like, nothing can block it profitably. Um, the removal spells are too slow, right? Like, so I'm not mad about seeing this at all. Uh, big donger nerfs here. Big donger nerfs. This one's super, super deserved. This one, yeah, probably also deserved, to being honest. Uh, I'm not going to say donger's dead now because people made that claim before and they were wrong, but this is a huge nerf. I expect it to not be the meta powerhouse that it was before. Uh, didn't expect to see this, especially in combination with the Samir nerf. So that is interesting. It's a Seraphine nerf for when you randomly generate it. And yeah, Wildfire dead. Small J and a slap on the wrist. Nothing big here. Um, and that's about it. That's about it. Pretty pretty big patch. Pretty impactful patch, honestly. Um, like I said, I'm just sad we didn't see like a Vein Trucks nerf. And I'm a little sad we didn't see like a bit more Ionia stuff or a bit more Targon stuff. Because obviously those are like my favorite regions. I would like to be able to play them a little bit more. But that's okay. Um, that's okay. This can be an interesting one. I think, I think basically what this patch is going to do is it's going to take the last meta and basically give it to us again, but it's going to be much healthier. <laughs> it's just going to be like a lot less like warden focused, right? Aatrox meta enjoy. Yeah. I mean, we've seen Aatrox metas before and I'm kind of okay with that. Like, I don't want to see Vein Trox again, but, like, if it's, like, oh, everyone's bringing, like, an Aatrox deck to the open, that's probably okay with me, right? That's probably fine. Uh, I think I can deal with that. I'd rather deal with that than, like, Triple Warden, right? That kind of stuff. Um, but we'll have to see kind of where it shakes up. I know I want to play Kane Trox because I like Kane Trox. Even though it's like mid range soup, <laughs> I think I don't know why it's just like it just works. I just think it's really fun. So I'll be playing Kane Trox uh, on Wednesday, probably. Maybe start there, and then maybe some Varus type stuff. Excited to see him make a comeback. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, that's it for the uh, the balance changes. What do you guys think?